hello and welcome to all of you here in minitab graphing session uh, in this lecture uh, we will discuss how to create different graphs in minitab uh, in graphs menu you can see many options here like scatter plot like histograms box plots bar charts pie charts some of the graphs are for qualitative variables and some are for quantitative variables i will do further videos on this uh, graphing tools and this is the first video uh, which I'm going to share with you people on graphing in Minitab. So before going into this uh, video, let us just uh, uh, let me allow to, to share with you the data file which I'm going to use. Uh, I will just show you in CSV or Excel format. This is the data file which I'm going to explore in Minitab sooner for the graphing variables. So there are different variables in this file. As you can see, uh, there are 315 uh, rows in this data. So it means that the, this data is of uh, 315 individuals. And alongside this data file, I would also like to show you in the description of these variables. Look, the age variable in, in this file, for instance, is about subject's age. And similarly, vitamin in this file is vitamin use 1 for regular, 2 for occasional, and 3 for no use at all. Calories means number of calories consumed per day. So I am providing it in the video for you people so that you can see the description of variables for better, better understandings of the graphs which I am going to make. Okay. After just going through these uh, variables and the data file, uh, we will see that how can we import this data file into Minitab and how can we make different graphs uh, using the graph menu in the Minitab. Uh, okay, for all users, uh, uh, I want to inform you that I will drop the link of this data file uh, in my lecture description. Just right under the video, you can follow that link in order to download that file from the internet before and going through this video we can import data file here that type from file open and uh, after clicking the open you need to uh, direct the computer about the path of that file that where you have saved that data file so here you will find data file remember this path is different uh, for all users it depends where you have saved this data file okay let me allow me to open it and after double clicking on it you can see uh, this is the dialog box uh, which can import uh, your excel or csv file format to the minitab worksheet so starting from the start it shows that um, how many rows you want to import like if you just want to import the first 200 rows you can amend it here like uh, it will just import the data uh, from your excel file for the first 200 rows so we will just uh, import all the rows right field uh, delimiter comma it is not necessary here so if you just check it off it means that the variable names will not be imported and uh, if you want to name the variables in the mini time file you will check it off otherwise you will check it so by checking in, it will, you know, just uh, import all variable names. Look, ID, age, smoke, quitlet, vitamin, calories. And you can scroll it from here to see all the available variables in your data files. And you can scroll it down to see uh, number of rows in your data files uh, alongside the variable. So by clicking OK, you will see the data have been imported into the Minitab scrolling this line you can see all the data values 315 rows and from here on you can read many variables so let us just start now uh, on our graphing lecture so go to graph for example you need a histogram of calories for example calories intake you need a histogram of calories intake so go with fit okay and then graph variable you just to specify the graph variable just give the calories here and just clicking ok you will find the histogram of calories look on the x-axis number of calories consumed per day and the frequency number of persons total 
you can see for this graph is 315 while standard deviation is 680.3 whereas average calories intake is 17.97 okay this is a little bit of the summary statistics you can edit the chart bar you can change its uh, font size you can change its uh, color uh, according to, to your wishes as well as the font style and uh, similarly you can change uh, the x-axis labels and the y-axis labels and uh, you can also save this graph individually in any file format for example just uh, putting the cursor on the on that particular graph which you want to save and just click file save graph as just give the path and wherever you want to save it it could be saved quite easily for example you want to save it in this folder where the data is so just uh, the name of the graph and just give the file format for example jpg or uh, png or uh, whichever file format you you prefer uh, it will be saved quite easily later on you can go and you can see um, your graph which you have just saved you know like this okay going back to the mini tab again so you can make multiple graph it was a quantitative variable it was a continuous variable therefore we prefer to make a histogram in order to see the distribution of uh, and the number of calories consumed per day and similarly for example you need a histogram and this time around you need the histogram of calories but you want to uh, separate it for the variable smoke for example the individuals who did not smoke and the individuals who smoke you want separate histograms for that so in that case you go here and put the variable over there and ok it's a panel variable basically by clicking ok you will see the you will see two histograms side by side one for the individuals who did not smoke and one for the individuals who smoke definitely the individuals who smoke are lesser in number look here and you can change the panel variable from right here for example go to the panel and instead of uh, just smoke variable you wanted to insert for example male female the sex variable okay this will be changed again so now this graph uh, of histogram for calories is for male and female separately similarly you can add any other qualitative variable inside your panel variable to see different graphs for example vitamin use for vitamin use now you know that the, in vitamin use uh, there were three categories uh, one is the no use of uh, vitamin and then the occasional use of vitamin similarly there is a regular use of vitamins for example you need this graph uh, in slightly different shape like for example the arrangement uh, in arrangement you need to put this graph in three rows for example and one column just to compare just uh, to make the comparison a little bit uh, interesting you can change the grid of the graph you know like so uh, you may say that this panel variable is vitamin in use you can also amend its color or you can bold it just to see the panel variable here similarly we can make histograms for other quantitative variables in order to see the distribution of the data for example now we just go to the option of box plot we need the box plot for example uh, we click simple okay and then you need to put the graph variable here in this case i need to construct the graph of uh, fat fat consumed per day i need the uh, uh, box plot for the fat variable uh, in case I just click ok it will give me uh, the box plot for the fat variable right um, here you can say that the minimum fat consumption and the maximum fat consumption and uh, uh, somewhere here is the median fat consumption so uh, you can interpret this box plot if you just uh, click on this box you will see some of and just stop the cursor over there in order to see the quartile and the median and the interquartile range and the number of observations on this box plot is made 315 of course you can see it on your screen 
uh, this is how to develop a uh, box plots well you can also develop box plots by some variables as you have done in case of histogram just go to the box plot and this time around select uh, this multiple wise in simple and just click ok give the graph variable for example fat again in multiple graphs you need to specify that variable for example again you just want to see it uh, uh, with reference to vitamin use suppose fat and vitamin use okay go ahead, go ahead and see look it has given you a three box plot uh, with reference to the vitamin use variable you can also change it you know this just go to the panel and you, you can change the type of variable in the panel and also the arrangement for example you need to see this uh, box plot in one row and in three columns for better understanding of uh, uh, or the comparison so you can see the box plots for different you know uh, category for different categories of a categorical variable so even without splitting your data you can make graphs uh, in split of your for example you see you want to see the relationship between two quantitative variables so scatter plot is the way to do that scatter plot and uh, go with the regression line or even without line you can see the trend okay with the line okay you need to specify two variables y and x for that purpose in order to see the uh, relationship between for example the fat intake and the age that whether there is any relationship between the fat consumption and the age let us see it after pressing ok you will see the scatter plot each uh, individual dot in this scatter plot shows you the age of that individuals alongside the fat consumption so uh, overall you can see that as the age increases uh, the fat consumption per day also decreases steadily alongside the increase of age so there's uh, you can see uh, a negative uh, sort of a trend so other than uh, those graphs you can also make bar charts from here uh, in order to make a bar chart go to graph bar chart and then for simple for cluster means uh, if you want to create a multiple bar chart stack means if you want to create a component option so simple in case of simple you give just one variable click ok and give the variable ok in this case let us make it for smoke because uh, bar chart is for qualitative uh, variables so by clicking it ok you will see in your data uh, the smoking person who smoke the answer is yes the bar shows it and uh, no so this is a simple bar chart similarly you can make multiple bar charts from the same option bar chart okay cluster this time around select two variables for example you need to see the smoking status with respect to the sex variable by clicking it okay you will see that uh, the persons who smoke female and male and persons who don't smoke female and male and even you can create a pie chart pie chart uh, from uh, unique values so for example you need to create a pie chart for vitamin use variable and this is how you can create a pie chart you can amend it you can uh, edit this pie chart custom type option the different options it's okay you can just uh, uh, rotate it clockwise or anti-clockwise with respect to these colors and also you can put uh, some of the values on this slice look edit by and here you add slice labels okay you want to get the category name on side the slides and just a you can see and launch it the percentage look so you can make this graph uh, more attractive by applying some of the customization tools all are present here on your right click graph options and add okay so by now you have made many graphs and let's say you just want to uh, put multiple graphs on one page just click on uh, one of the graphs and go to editor click layout tools and after clicking the layout tool just notice this window this window offers you to divide your page in as many grids as you need for example three rows 
two columns, four rows, two columns, five rows, two columns. This will divide your page into that. For I am just going for three by two. Three by one is also possible. Three by three is also possible. So just go for uh, let's say two by three. So here you can put six graphs inside it. These are the available graphs which you have just created. If you click on it, you will see the preview below and uh, you can put one by one like for example here in this uh, place you want to put the chart for smoking okay here you can do it you can also move it by clicking on the graph and dragging it like this like this and you can put as many as six graphs here because it's a six by two look uh, it will go like this, you know. Okay, for the purpose of comparison, you can place it on different places, like. This. So after, if you have uh, finished uh, it, doing it uh, or putting multiple graphs on one page, after that you can just click finish. After clicking finish, here is the graph for you. Now you can save it in any file format as we have done before. Let us just save it in JPG e file in the same folder as we have done earlier and save it is in JPG file. Okay, save it. After saving it, let us just see it. Here is that graph. You put six graphs on one page and save it in JPG format.